Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. This is going to be a weekend reading, okay? So from Friday, February the 18th till, <laughs> I have to do the counting, uh, till the 20th on Sunday. Whoa, oh my gosh. You guys saw how that fell out, right? Let's see what's going on here. Wow, we have a lot of messages. Um, I'm just going to take everything that's showing here and take a look at this all. Clearly, we have someone who is stuck, and what they're stuck on is, by the looks of it, commitment. Does this person want to reunite, number three? Do they want to offer you, I don't know, something that is involving a marriage, possibly? No, I'm just, I mean, commitment, contract, what, what do those go together with, right? It's interesting. We have a man here. Clearly, and this man is literally stuck on whether or not they want to commit. This person has come to a spot where they are in their power presently. They're ready to move forward. Like, you know, they're feeling balanced. They feel like they can do it. They feel like they can, but do they want to? That's the question because this person has their fear sticking out, uh, sticking out, coming out. Now, listen to this card that came out here. I just remembered what card this is about. Family, friends, and guides, okay? This is the spiritual card. This is actually about people that are deceit. I guess you can call it that. Spirits. It's about spirits on the other side. People that have passed over. And they are trying to guide this person to do something. It's actually really heavy, beautiful weekend energy. Okay, so let's start clarifying. I don't know. We'll see what comes up here. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if both cards want to come out. I mean, same color scheme. So I do feel I'm seeing the Empress here. I mean, I feel like this person has been stubborn for a while. They may have been in a, co a contract previously, like a marriage or something with the Justice card. This could be a huge fear of this person to get into that again. This person may feel for some reason that if they want to be with you or want to come into your life, it's the real deal this time around, right? If they get up off of their seat and they come forward after being stuck possibly for so long, by the way, it's a number eight. It's about that returning energy. This person may have recently got out of a commitment or a contract. That's why they could be so stuck. Do they want to move forward? Well, they're getting the guidance to, that's for sure. I'm going to clarify the left side of the commitment card, please. Let's see what's coming out for that. I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to, uh, but I do. I, I got to here, okay? Wow, it's just an amazing message, guys. So sorry if I'm a little choppy and stuff because I'm even consuming this message and wanting to deliver it as smoothly as possible, but it's heavy. So this commitment would be if this person came back to you. Back to their Leo, maybe back during this moon, right? Maybe the moon energy is so heavy, it's pushing this person to really consider finally coming forward. Maybe someone, a spirit, has come in contact with this person from the other side and said, hey, get moving. This is the year. This is the time. This is the special like moment. You know, because I'm seeing the world card and the eight of wands. The world card can be about communication. It's usually physical, world, worldly communication or, you know, faxes, texts, even with this, even with the eight of wands. I think this person is getting communication to make a commitment, to finally commit to their true love. So let's get some more cards here. It's absolutely incredible what's coming out here. I don't know. I know I get very excited sometimes. It's because, like... So wow, right? So it's like one second this person has the strength to come forward and the next second they, they freeze up. Something like that, right? But I do feel that more and more this person is understanding that you're here for the long run. You're here to stay. You actually care about them. And also what I get is that this person is being guided that they can't continue like this, right? Like I feel maybe they're leaving you in the dark. And you're still being your best. You're still, you know, number eight here. You're still doing your best. You're still, the world's still turning. But there's guidance here to get moving, right? To get you out of this. And this energy comes up for many of us. It comes up in the sense that 
You are showing your best face to public. You're putting your best foot forward. You are not holding ground. Dark back at home, back at night. You're in the eight of swords, two of swords, nine of swords energy. Like what the heck is going on, right? So let's see uh, the right side of the commitment card. See what's coming up. It's my right. I don't know if it's yours. <laughs> see, this person is scared. What are they scared? Ah, this person has their head wrapped up in something. I mean, oh yeah, I see. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like that was a previous situation. This person thought they were loved. What are we dealing with here? Maybe a Queen of Swords. So this person could have literally come out of a divorce or separation. The Queen of Swords is the queen that's gone through the most turmoil in a relationship, okay? Like she's been let down a lot. So it's not always that the queen is uh, bad, um, but the queen has been divorced often, you know, and I mean, this person could be hanging on to that fear. Maybe they haven't sorted out that situation, that previous situation fully yet. I mean, it's there. So let's see. Top card for the stuck energy. Okay. So we have the five of cups and seeing the world card and just the way that this chopped open. And I'm seeing the, the heart card here, the um, three of swords here. What's here? The full card. This person is worried. Literally, this person in the stuck energy on the top of their mind, they're focused on past situations that got messy they are not focusing on the possibilities of a beautiful partnership. And so that is affecting them and keeping this person stuck. However, it looks like this person is ready to come forward, but they're going back and forth. I'm surprised we don't have the two of pentacles with all these cards here. So for some of you, the person you're dealing with, I mean, they're uncertain about what they want because they have fears Though this person has got something in order here because it looks like they're ready for a new beginning. They've got their energy kind of calm and present, but it's fluctuating when it comes to you. So top card for the commitment energy. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> you guys saw how like smooth that came out, how it was taking its sweet time as well. It's the Four of Wands, the death card here. What I get that this person is actually, you know, with this energy up here, they actually want to apologize for being so indecisive. And this person wants to let go of the past. This person, this person who, it's when this person is energetically vibing, right? They're like, no, like I have to apologize to this person. I have to go and see them. I have to be with them. But then in their lower vibrational energy here, they're going like, they're not moving. They're not moving enough. They're really not. And I'm hearing, what if this ends like the other? What if this ends? I heard like all the others. So I don't know if this person lost multiple people. So it looks like for the weekend energy we have someone who at times feels ready to come forward and apologize and sort this out, sort out, sort out all the mess. And at other times feels bad for leaving you in confusion, but is scared. You know, maybe this person did things in their past and they're scared to get their, their, their karma back. Right. So let's clarify this energy here, the justice and the, the success energy, the hangman. Uh, so this person could still be, I don't know, hooked on past successes, not wanting to make a mistake again. This person lived a lie, first of all. This person isn't even listening. Maybe they're living a lie right now. They're not listening to their spirit. This is my spirit card. They're not listening to their spirit. They're so silly and they're being stuck here. So let's see the strength card and the two of swords. The devil, I think this person is afraid of your genuine caring, love, affection, and ability to handle what they're putting you through. It's like you must be up to something if you're going to still love this person even when they act like an animal. That's what this person is thinking. Like you must be up to something. You must be up to something. You're probably constantly, look at that beautiful energy because you know better. You know this is your person and you know sometimes people go with the high priestess. You know people go through things and 
there's times when it's worth waiting for, okay? And this person looks at all of that as deception or deceptive. It's like you're constantly there to help them. So that will be a major message for those that this is resonating with. Because this person is asking for a commitment. So if you haven't talked to your person forever, even though you may be there, um, I don't know. Something's happened where this person wants to apologize. I mean, even if this person hasn't be, been around. But I feel like this is someone that's given you a very hard time if you've been there no matter what. Okay? So just for descriptive purposes, let's go to this... Uh, you know, what's on this person's mind is fear, 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 fear. So what I'm getting is one thing that this person fears um, is that this was all just passion, that it wasn't really true. This person was probably able to come in and out of your life, hold back from love and not express love to you. Uh, deep inside, however, this person was looking at you as, so I'm hearing a miracle, a miracle. And this person couldn't admit that. I'm getting this message here. This person may feel like you're going to play them. So let's go over here to the commitment and the apology or the fears. What is that about? The two of swords. It's coming on the side of being reversed, right? And that's because this person knows they actually do have to apologize and get you out of this confusion. That you deserve that. You know, this person definitely knows that you deserve that. So let's go to the Queen of Wands energy with the Six of Cups. All about return, right? I mean, I have a big smile looking at that. And it's one step at a time. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So what this tells me, not only has this been a long time, if this person comes forward, they are dead serious, okay? Shouldn't say that word there, but they're serious. They're really serious about this. If they come forward, it's like they're giving you their last hope, their last. I'm hearing last chance, but I can't connect how that works. Maybe to them, it feels like, you know, this doesn't go through. That's it. Four of wands, please. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if you see. Yeah, I think you can see how the cards were. They're kind of like weird there. We got the full card because that's when the cards want to make sure you get this message. This person wants to have a new start with you. And I was already picking that up. They want to kind of, oh yeah, with the death card. They want to end, let go of everything that's happened on the in the past. This person has gone through a lot of pain. And just to remind us all, pain is what grows you. You know, if it's all easy, you don't go through the lessons you go through in these type of connections. So let's clarify that commitment card for the fun of it. <laughs> we have the five of wands. I'm just going to, you know, I don't think I need to take the other card. But that's the energy we have here, the five of wands. This person wants change. They want to come back to you. And they do. They're worried a bit about arguing, okay? I don't know if it's because you've argued. I don't know if it's because you're a spunky Leo energy. You know, even if you're something else, you could be that confident, loving energy. And it's true with the strength card. Like no matter what this person has done to you, I feel like you haven't let it put you down or bring you down. Let's get one card for this, for the present power. This person finding their peace in the present. Now having a little bit of trouble moving forward. But look at that. This is about finally having a fresh start. And for me, the Page of Wands is someone who finally realizes a connection, to be honest. That is my vibe with the Page of Wands. I don't always bring it out because it doesn't always match the message. But deep down, I always think the Page of Wands is someone who finally sees the Four of Wands, finally sees someone's connection to them, how lucky they would be, how happy they would be. So... Let's see. Let's get some more cards from here since it's a weekend reading. What's this person, you know, what? Please do like the video, guys. Oh, my gosh, it helps so much, right? You don't even know, but I think, you know, <laughs> you do know because I say it every video. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. What's going to be happening over the next three days? This is a single energy. This is someone who is, you know, doing well, 
for some reason, I'm just noticing over here we have this energy, like the five of wands. I wish I had a different interpretation for this. It normally involves a lot of energies disagreeing and not being able to balance out, right? But here, I feel like it's coming up twice for a reason. This person may want to fight for you to notice them. This may be, you know, some of you, maybe you moved on and this person has to go extra hard to get you back. To have a reunion with you. We have the reunion. This person is finally seeing the connection. I mean, it took them a while. Here we have it. But either the universe stepped in or just time has showed this person. I, I want to say that you're here to stay, even though I'm seeing the magician. There's something magical here. Wow. Okay. Because it's such a loving message, you bet I'm pulling out some love cards. What do we have for this situation? Trust. Because this is number one, what has to go on here. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So this person really has to trust in what they do know about you. And what they do know about you is that you've been there for the long run is what I'm getting. You've been there through the dark times. I don't think it's gotten to its full potential of light times, to be honest. I mean, moving forward, we need that, right? Only time will tell. We need to, and that's the thing. You have to trust it. And only time will tell you the answer. And that's what this person needs to do. We need a card for, well, we kind of got that. I just want to know, like, I just feel like we haven't saw the light days yet. Why am I picking that up? We probably haven't saw the light days yet because this person's been too busy doing other things. I don't know, entangling their mind in another situation, maybe a third party, maybe legalities. Maybe this person couldn't even give you their full self. We don't have a king here. We have an emperor, which is great, but I mean, that says a lot. That's about stubbornness. I think this person has not been able to give you everything they actually can. Wow. Okay. So let's move forward. <laughs> wow. The lighter days are ahead. Okay. We have growth here. And that's what this has done for you both. I'm getting the message about resistance and um, seeing the dragon here. It's about fears. <laughs> let's get another card from here, please. And thank you. And we have wisdom. Number 22. I don't know. Someone here is wise enough to make the right move, to make the right choice. <coughs> Hope my throat doesn't get scratchy. I didn't bring any water here with me. Of course. Of course, right? Let's move on. I'll just be silent and show you. You can read the cards. <laughs> Imagine I did that. No, I won't. I'll just get some water if I have to. Moving on. Question. This is the question card. Sorry, I didn't announce that. Um, but you know. If you're here for the dailies, you know, and you know what else I'm, I'm not going to say to do. <laughs> you know what to do. If you know, you know. Oh my gosh, we got trust twice. We got trust twice. This person needs to start trusting. And not only, in, I just got in their guidance to the guidance they're getting. So for many of you, this person has had someone they've lost. And this person that they've lost is here. They get over there. Go back to her. Or him. You, you apply it as it is. I'm seeing a man here. And I'm seeing a queen of wands. Let's see what we get here. Gotta love it when they take their time. Gotta love it. Because <laughs> then you get the right answer. So we have spiritual teacher. Look at this. We have these cards, these messages. And I'm going to just say, say them. Healing, healed, healer, your wish is granted. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. This is about a brand new cycle for you and this person, and that is the best way to put it. That is exactly what I'm guided to say. That is the best way to put it. This will be a brand new cycle for you and this person when they return. There's going to be huge changes. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. Maybe this is going to give you or your person an ability to teach others not to give up, you know, to put, to give some trust, to put a foot forward and try it out, to see where this can go, to see what can happen in relationships and not give up. 
also to not have fear of what happened in the past. So this is your universal message. And let's see what we have, the penguins. Oh, my gosh. If you guys ever watch the documentary on penguins? I don't know what it's called, but it's like the number one penguin do documentary. And I recommend checking it out. And it actually shows these penguins, no matter how far they go, they come home and they go to their person. The one that is their person. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. That's what this person has to do. I feel like you're in a spot. This will be another um, way to clarify if this is for you. There's something here where you're in a spot where you're untouchable energetically. You're doing very well. Even if you have ups and downs, that's normal. You're doing very well. There's something about that. I'm not saying you're rich, but you're happy with what you have and you're loving what you have and you're loving your life. Even though this person may put you through some dark times, when you wake up in the morning, you're still putting your best foot forward. That's how you're going to know if this message is for you. Because it's like you're at a level that you're ready for this. So much so that even the spirits are trying to push this together to wake this person up. But I'll tell you, this person doesn't need much. I think they just need some stability within their own emotions, maybe. I feel like the majority of the time, this person is in a positive mood and they want this. But there's some stuff to clear up. Things that haven't been cleared up have to be cleared up. So let's get a card about what needs to get cleared up here. Look at that, Ten of Wands. Definitely some things need to be cleared up. What needs to be cleared up here? Please give us one direct message, please. Thank you. I ain't trying to be here all day. <laughs> why this person walked away that needs to get cleared up for sure you know you can't have this person come back in your life especially after it's been a while and not bring up the fact that oh we kind of didn't see much of each other the last one two ten years why and let me tell you why I already see why here this person had another cycle they had to close out instead I think they tried to close it out with you <laughs> probably the other cycle closed on its own anyways we all know how it is and how it goes um, what needs to be cleared up is this person has to explain or should explain what the in and out energy was if they lied to you why they were lying it all goes back to the same thing which is that this person was stuck in another situation that's it the other situation could have been anything this person had to close it out maybe it's just friends right maybe it's just friends that are bad for them Whatever it is, the person had to close that out. So I guess we go for one more card. I mean, okay, maybe two. <laughs> We're dropping all these uh, cards. So we have um, wish energy showing up. We have the releasing, the X energy show up. So someone may have literally had to release an X. We have the trust card, reconciliation. Or is this the messages here? Past life relationship and healing family issues. Definitely something this person could have had to do. It sounds like those are a lot of the messages that go with this. But let's just see what comes up. I think this person did have to release the ex. So get this. Heart to heart conversation. For some of you this weekend, expect this person to finally come in and have a conversation. Expect them. And you be yourself, by the way. You be yourself in the sense where normally I would say, don't push yourself on this person. Don't whatever. I think it's time this person gets out of their shell and realizes you are who you are. You're not trying to scare them. You're not trying to, to influence them and manipulate them. You're in love with them. You're truly in love with them. Of course you want to lean into them. Of course you want to kiss them every second. This is your person. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Don't hold back. It's going to be hard for this person to have this conversation. Let them speak, of course, but I can already tell and sense and have the, the vibe within me that you just want to kiss this person. Like you just want them there. You want them. So let's get two more messages, okay? Let's go here and see what we have. Some people will die for love while others will die because they have lost it. So this is telling me your person doesn't want to lose you and pass through this lifetime without you. This is the lifetime, most likely for many of you, that you and this person are meant to be together. It may not be with a family, 
or, you know, having children and all that, but this is the time you're meant to be together. Maybe those are the reasons you weren't able to be together before. Maybe you were meant to have children with someone else or do something with other people in other lifetimes. But this one is for you too. This one is for you too. And some of you, sure, maybe you will have children. I'm not saying you won't. So let's get one message card here. One card that says it all. I look for you everywhere. No wonder. No wonder this person can't let you go. They look for you everywhere. Can you see that? Let's see if we can get it so you can see it. Because that's an important message. Also with the trust cards, I mean, can't get more clear than that. This person loves you, okay, guys? Um, I'm going to throw in a charm reading. and I'm going to leave the cards this way right now. But I'm guided to just do it. I mean, it's the weekend, and this is powerful. Let's see what the charms have to say for us. Let's see what they're going to tell us. Hey, I kind of got them all in the center there, which tells me there's a lot going on. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, my God, this is the best thing ever. Ever. This right here. The key element the missing piece is you and this person being together and i feel like life will become easier after that sure there may be things that are hidden it's just it's nothing else is important here right now besides the fact that these two pieces are together here this is my missing piece and this is the cufflings you're meant to be together this person knows that they haven't spoken to you for a while this person may have lost faith, and it's going to be reignited eventually. They may have lost passion. They may have been going through so much, they lost passion. This person probably doesn't want to get married, by the way. And it's it's weird. That's probably the fear. Because I think in the past, they had a connection or a commitment, and it didn't work out. Instead, it was overrun by lust. This person has probably had a failed marriage and they don't like to speak about it. Or they just, you know, it's just not something they want to talk about. We have the button, anything else. Oh, yeah, we have so many things under here. It'll secret. The lighthouse. They don't want to draw attention to that. They don't want to draw attention to marriage. It's very weird. Because I feel like this person, it's like that's what's heavy on their mind. Like a serious commitment. Or maybe what they're willing to give you to them is like signing a contract. Like once they give themselves to you, it's like done deal. But it's weird. Like they don't want to talk about that. But they still, we got the card of, you know, commitment. This person still has some clearing to do. I'm going to say that straight up. This person could be in their 40s. Be straightforward. And that's what this person is trying to get the courage to do, to be straightforward. Let me see this here. This person thought they were smart at some point. They learned a lesson. This person learned a lot. They may have lost something as well. It may have changed their whole life. Maybe it's the friends, family, or guide here in the present So right now, this person is debating between being straightforward and really seeing that this is the key missing piece in their environment right now, but also they can't get away. Maybe that marriage is still involved. Maybe they're not married, but the memories are close. The money ties could be there. They don't want to talk about it too much. They don't even want to draw attention to that situation anymore. The lighthouse is fully covered. So that marriage is over. That's what I just got. That marriage is actually over, but there's something about it, maybe family here, that probably will be forever, that family situation that there is, or money, that this person will be tied with this ex. It's, it's interesting. This one here. Something here where they lost hope or they lost faith, right? I think money got involved or some or the... Their luck ran out or something, and I don't know. They lost hope. This person wants to grow with you as well. 
I don't know. Oh, I just got the message. You know, there's really a, a energy involved in this and you should thank them. <laughs> I mean, they're heavily involved in this. There's an energy here. So some of these people may carry around a trinket from a lost loved one, um, someone who's past deceased, or they may have a yearn with, you know, they may have lost someone in their childhood that for some reason is affecting this, you know, anyhow, I don't know what else to say besides this is the most beautiful message we've had in a while because it shows the real deal. It's not easy to make that move. Even when you know it's what you're supposed to do, it's not easy, especially when you have fears in the past from things that didn't work out. And I mean, the message came up yesterday about those of you that want to or are should, I should say, or are about to pursue a new career or endeavor or open like the doors to success, doing something you were afraid to do. It's all the same, just different subjects. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here it's about love. Thank you so much. Bye for now.